Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So, you're probably here to see some rank ups. Why are you in good luck? Because I have some rank ups to do. Now, I have two rank ups that we're going to do in this video. The first rank up is just going to be to rank three. It's a good rank up, but it's just to rank three. The second rank up is going to be to rank four. That rank up is going to be interesting. So if you think you can guess who I took up to rank four, you can also guess for the rank three, but especially the rank four, you can leave a comment below and let me know and see if you can guess it. It's one that I wonder how many people will get, but we are about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. Gladiator. So, I just got Gladiator, and in case you missed it, I was going for the five-star Gladiator in the featured arena, and I really wasn't looking for the six-star just yet. You know, now, they may change Gladiator. He seemed to be kind of lackluster, and I was hearing people have kind of mixed feelings about him. And so it may be that Kabam will tweak him a little bit within the uh, six month uh, period since his uh, release. But I just wanted to get the five star. I usually get the five star. That way I can take the five star up, play around with the five star, see if I like him, you know, that sort of thing. But a couple of things happen. First, I only put up a low score, like 60, what was it, 65 or something like that? Mill, 6.5, I forget what I put up. Nowhere near what I thought the uh, six star was going to go for. And I remember people putting up well over 100 million points to get him. And so I'm thinking, okay, cool. 60 or, or somewhere around there, that's going to get me the five star easy. Instead, I got the six star. So instead of ranking up the six star, I'm like, all right, all right. Time to, you know, take this guy, you know, up. Now, the second thing that happened is Caps Commissary. Now, that store... Not everybody liked it, and a lot of the deals weren't good. But some of the deals were for gold. And I got every one of those for gold. Those were some rank-up gems. And that's what I'm using on Gladiator. For gold? Now, you saw me just a little bit ago opening up my gold and crystals. This is the first time I have done that in a long time. I usually have a lot of gold, but I've been using gold like crazy, ranking up, leveling up. Um, I use gold for um, tickets in Alliance Quest, and it's been a long time. Think about when they implemented the ticket system. Since then, I've used nothing but gold, okay? I had, at one time, over 200 million gold. Now I'm having to open up my gold crystals just so that I could rank him up. So, and I have a lot of uh, gold crystals. Those were like the least uh, ones that I, I had, but I have almost like 10,000 of like the big one. So I'm not hurting yet. And I also have the uh, battle chips that I haven't opened yet. But Gladiator, as you can see, I'm taking him up. I'm using the rank up gems that I got from Cap's Commissary. And I've used him a little bit in um, uh, an arena. And I haven't really looked into his kit or anything like that. But he doesn't seem that impressive to me yet. Now, this may change. We shall see. You can see here, look at this. Boom. Rank three. Use the rank up gem. And uh, after this, 
I um I planned to take him in to like maybe Winter Soldier at some time and see how he does, you know. But I haven't done that yet. And you can see here I'm I'm opening up more. And like I said, these crystals, this is the least amount uh of the bunch that I have. Um these are the smallest. But they have been using goal for a lot of things and ranking up champs is expensive and since i've been using gold for everything so now i'll probably um be a little bit more careful with my goal i'm not uh anywhere near to being broke yet but to avoid that you know when they have that uh you know, any gold events or anything. I used to just ignore all of those because I didn't need gold. Now I'll probably have to pay attention to them if I don't want to get to the point where gold is actually a problem. Um, but anyway, so uh, taking up Gladiator uh, to rank three for now. And right now I don't see myself using him anywhere other than in the arena but you never know now you notice also that he is not awakened i do have a cosmic awakening gem that i could use on him but i looked at his awakened ability it didn't seem all that impressive to me now that could be that i don't know enough about him and i'm very very careful since human torch who also seemed very lackluster to me. I wasn't impressed. A lot of us weren't impressed. And look how that turned out. Same thing with Corvus. A lot of people were not impressed. And he turned out to be really good. So that could be the case. I don't know. And you can see I'm close to another rank four. So look forward to that soon. Anyway, in this video, we're about to take up a champ to rank four. And that one, if you can guess, is going to be Terax. Now, I just recently took him to rank three. And this current meta and my path in Alliance War seems to really, really benefit Terax. For one, he is an A.W. Decay, um, that's the tag that he has. So that means that in war, he's going to be immune to those placebo buffs. And so he would be good going against champions that um, are global defenders, okay? Benefit from the global uh, tactic. He's also bleed immune. And in section two, I have a node that is bleed um, that requires a bleed immune, uh, depending on who they have there. If they put someone there that has armor ups, then you need somebody that can deal with that bleed. Okay. I usually, uh, end up using Claire on that node, but this meta, they may put someone that is a global defender. So Terax can handle that. He's bleed immune and he is an AW attacker, DK, whatever you call it. Um, he benefits from the attacker tactic, all right? And he's also shock immune. The next node, depending on who they have there, requires you to have a shock immune. If they get a lot of armor ups, you want somebody that is shock immune. Now, I generally go in that fight with Hulkling. However, they may have a global defender on there, in which case I might end up having to use Terax. And he is quite good in Battlegrounds as well. So I actually, just before I made this video, took him into Alliance War for the first time. Now, this is still off season, so this is the time to experiment and play and um, you know, try things out. And I fought uh, Ant-Man Future 
on that first node in section one. Now, I don't know if I gave it a fair uh, shot because I went to block and took a five hit combo to my face. And I'm sitting there looking to see if he was unblockable or something, okay? But that fight, he basically beat me by atrophy, okay? That is what he did. Um, I, I had him. He was low, but I was lower. And he just kept hitting into my block and slowly wearing me down. A lot of glancing and everything. I don't know if he is the best option for Ant-Man future on that node. So I might end up still bringing in somebody else for it and then bringing him in depending on who's on that next node. But I'm happy to have him. Uh, you can see that I, I pumped up his um, uh, signature ability so that I start with uh, a lot of um, power. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Take care. Hit the like button. And you all have a blessed day.